Hey, Railbirds, Kevin here. All right, we have more A-side action for you guys. Taruko Kukulele versus Angela Mears. I believe this is Taruko's home pool room here in Westerville, Ohio. Angela comes to us from Michigan, Belleville, Belleville Michigan, I believe. All right, we're going to lag for the break. That is going to be Taruko with the six ball, Angie with the seven. Wow, both of them are. <laughs> all right, Taruko, I didn't think Taruko was going to get that lag when I saw her hit it hard. She hit it, but all right, Taruko gets that lag. Remember to hit that thumbs up, be sure to subscribe, and ring that bell. If you don't ring that bell, you won't get notified when we go live. Be sure to share. Sharing is caring. I'm your host, Kevin Ross. Thank you guys for watching. We are coming at you live from Cushions Billiards here in Westerville, Ohio. It's just outside of Columbus. All right, it looks like my internet is acting up again. Of course it is, because why wouldn't it? Because that's what it does. Like it's its job. All right, here we go. Taruko with the break. <clears throat> All right, looks like she's made a couple on the break, but uh, I don't. No, she has a, I don't think she can see the one. I don't think she can. Well, she's getting down, giving it the old one-eyed squint, so. Why does it look like she's kicking at it? I don't know, I'm seeing things I'm seeing things wrong. All right, nice shot. Bump to seven for perfect. <laughs> that works. That's allowed. Nice shot on that one. Good position on the two. A little bit of helping hand from the seven, but that's okay. Oh, get past that eight. Oof. She's still getting dialed in on the speed of the stable. I don't think she's uh, played on this table yet. Well, not in the match anyway. I think she was practicing on it earlier. Shot. Oh, get off that end rail. Well, okay, it's off the end rail, but maybe I should be more specific. I 
And she's not making it easy on herself, is she? All right, nice shot. I think this is the easiest shot she's had all rack. Taruko Kukulele with a break and run, setting the tone. We are playing mostly CSI rules nine ball. It's going to be alternate break, rack your own. It's going to be a race to seven on the A side, race to six on the B side. Because they are doing rack your own, they have decided that the nine ball will not count on the break. That was decided during the players meeting. And I'm pretty sure they said nine on the break doesn't count anywhere. Not just the bottom two pockets, but anywhere. All right, Angie with the break. All right, she made a couple balls on the break, controlled the cue ball nicely, and she's got a good shot at this one to start with. All right, nothing's terribly tied up. Good, healthy dose of inside spin on that one. Yeah, that four ball is in kind of a, a tricky spot. Yeah, you got to get pretty good on this four. Which, being this far from the three, does. So, yeah, so she. Left herself a bit of distance, so all right, brings Taruko to the table. Oh, man, I thought it was going to go. I thought it was going to kind of bobble a little and then fall anyway, but... Nope, not that time. All right, brings Angela to the table. All right, she's just trying to come over onto the short side and just caught that three just a little too full. I thought she might try to play safe behind those balls, but no, she's uh, taking a splash at the cash. Getting a little cheesy. All right, Taruko. Nice shot on this forward to start with. Go forward a little, but not too much. That's a nice shot. Taruko really finding her uh, finding her groove now. 
two nothing in this race to seven. Hey, Durga, no fingering the rack. All right, Turuko with the break. All right, wing ball straight in. And also a couple of extra bonus ball went in. Got a nice shot on this one to start. Problem is that 2-6. Six. six is off the rail a little. Combination still goes, but that two ball will end up over, you know, going left behind the seven towards the seven nine area. So you got to account for that, play position for it. Very easy to end up with no shot on the two here. Very touchy shot. She's got three balls she can get hooked behind. She can get hooked behind the seven, the eight, or the nine. She can get hooked behind any of those. Probably hit it with a little extra speed just to make sure the two ball gets out of there. Oh, I can't see. Don front. And unfortunately, she got hooked behind the eight. Okay, what does Sherry always say? Yeah, just kick it in and run out. That's all you got to do. That's what Sherry always says. Just kick it in. What's the big deal? Just kick it in. Oh, no. Oh, it looks like Sherry just made the 1-9 uh, well, combination on that upper right table on screen. That's not Sherry racking, that's Kim racking Sherry's opponent. Angela making quick work of these remaining balls. That's what Angela does. She makes quick work of these things. She doesn't waste a lot of time. All right. Angela Mears on the scoreboard. Two to one. Race to seven.
Yeah, right, face man. WWSD, what would Sherry do? All right, Angela with the break. All right, looks like dry break. Nobody home, no friends. Okay, well, that's one way to get on the two. Uh, can she go forward right between that seven nine, or is she going to bump to seven? It's hard to tell. I think she can go forward between them. Oh, she overcut the two. I think her mind was on uh, cue ball, avoiding the seven and getting on the three, and with all that going on. Forgot to concentrate on making the two. Also, whoops. Good effort, but that's going to leave hanging right there for Taruko. Nice shot on two to start. Three right there in the side pocket. We'll forward for the four. Let's critically get pretty straight on this three. Can't have any angle either way. And it looks to me like she's got pretty good on it. Yeah, it's a little tricky. You know, that's seven balls taking up a lot of room. You know, it's about where you'd want the cue balls, where the seven is. So she's just going to stay down at this end. Take the slightly longer, slightly more straight in shot. Oh, that cue ball just kept going. But I think it stopped in I think it stopped just in time. Yeah, she doesn't look too concerned. Oh, get off that rail. Bounce. Eh. Oh, handled that pretty nicely. Nice shot there, Taruko. All right, three to one in this race to seven. Playing race to seven on the A side, race to six on the B side. Oh, Sherry just took another uh, swing at the nine over there. Yeah, she likes riding the nine. And uh, yeah, race to seven on the A side, race to six on the B side, and the finals will be a true double elimination.
meaning the person coming through the B side will have to beat the person who came through the A side. We'll have to beat them twice if they want to win it. Whereas the person on the A side only has to beat the person on the B side once. And then they take home all the marbles. Taruko with the break. Nice break. Made, <laughs> tell me she make four balls? Wow. She made four balls and she has a shot at the, at the, at the lowest number ball? That can't be legal. Now she's going to want to, she will want to kind of nudge that nine a little. Because that eight is frozen on the nine. So that eight, nine is not sitting good. So she will want to nudge it a little while playing position from the two to the five. Uh, she was uh, trying to, and that didn't work out. That did not go according to plan. All right, plan B. Let's kick it in. Or jump it in. She only has to jump over less than half the ball. She's got a little bit of distance between a little bit of distance between the cue ball and nine ball. I think that's jumpable. Oh, she's kicking at it. And is it in? Oh. Oh, a nice shot, Angela. Wasn't sure if that was makeable or not without scratching, and the answer is yes, it is. Yeah. Looks like Sherry just got another game up there, that upper right uh, table on screen. Oh, Angie playing safe. That's a good safety uh, Good safety there, Angela. Nicely done. Looks like she's got her right on that eight. Yeah, that's a pretty good safe. Ruku not looking all that pleased with it. She says, yeah, what's so good about it? I don't think it's all that good. <laughs> Looks like she's looking at going three rails at it. All right, she's going for the three railer. Oh, just missed it. All right, that nice safety by Angela earns her ball in hand. All right, she had me worried there for a second. I thought she was like looking at like playing a seven nine or something crazy. All right. Oh, is it in? No, she's just playing safe. <laughs> Drigo just scratching her head again. Like she's just going to thin off it, try to get her behind the nine again. Oh, is that going to get there? Is it? 
Yes, it is. Good speed, Daruko. I thought she hit it too soft, but it got there. Oh, good, uh, good hit, good effort. So, base man doing the leg work for me says Taruko is 82nd in the world according to Fraggle Eight. Twenty fifth in the USA. All right, Taruko, four to one. We're race to seven. Hey, Angela with the break. I just made a ball. All right, she can see the one. She has a bank shot. Or possible safety, and that's going to come right back over. Did she get her corner hooked? Ooh, that's close. She might be corner hooked. Although, she, if she is, she's just barely corner hooked. And she's back far enough away from the corner she could jump over it with the jump cue. But she's looking like she can see it. Okay. All right, that's a nice shot. Good speed. Yeah, here I think I prefer the billiard on the five. Then that should leave you straight into the corner for the three. It looks like that's what Taruko has also decided on. Billiard on the five should should leave her straight into the corner. And it does. Nicely done. Okay, not exactly straight in. Straight enough. Oh whoopsie. Where are all the chatty viewers at? It uh, looks like just you. looks like you're the chatty viewer today, face man. Nice shot there, Angela.
It's going up a little short, but she should be okay. She should be able to just go two rails at the nine. But as long as you can avoid the side pocket, which she has. Nicely done. Angela Mears gets one back, four to two. In this race to seven. That's going to be Taruko's rack and break. Hey, John Faulkner. Glad you're still there. We were worried about you. Yep, the viewers are there. They're just enthralled and watching. They're, they're mesmerized by all the good pulls that's going on. Uh-oh, Kojak in the subway. All right, ball in hand for Angela. She is a cheese-riding fool. <laughs> Giddy up. Yeehaw. It almost moved. <laughs> All right, I don't think that one. She might be able to have a bank shot, maybe a two way shot, bank it. If it doesn't go, you got a few balls to hide behind. If it does go, you'll have a, a long shot at the two, but a shot. Or just go for the all-out safety. Don't even try to make the one. Oh, she's going for it. And nice shot. So now you guess you're buying another Muchi? Did you have a say in the matter whether or not you were buying another Muchi? All right, she looks like she's dead straight in. Yeah, I don't know if she can, I don't know if she has access to the bottom of this cue ball or not so that she can draw back with a four in the side. All right. The five's not blocking her access to the cue ball, so she's going to have to draw back. And all right. Not out of the woods yet, though, because we still haven't found a home for this five yet either. It doesn't go to either of those two corners. Down underneath it, and yeah, 50 yard line and on the rail. So it's going to be, even if you make this five, it's you're kind of going the wrong way to get on the six. Oh, that's a nice shot. And she's got a shot on the sixth. Nicely done, Taruko.
Uh, I see, John. <laughs> Whoa, where are you going, cue ball? Slow down, slow down. Okay, it's slowed down. Hey, Ron in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Thanks for watching. All right, nice out there, Taruko. 5 2, race to 7. They've been playing a lot of Depeche Mode on the jukebox today. Like the third or fourth Depeche Mode song I've heard since I've been here. Which is cool. I like Depeche Mode. All right. Oh, no. Cue ball just rolls in right behind that four. All right, Angela just going to tie some stuff up. Not a bad move. And that 3-8 did not line up. The 3-8 did not line up for an easy combination. That 8's off the rail farther than the 3. And looks like Taruko's not even paying attention to the fact that she has ball in hand. Angela to the table. Just playing safe. Nice touch. Uh, kick, uh, kick two rails at the kick two rails at the two because you know if that nine ball wasn't there you'd scratch in that corner every time, right? <laughs> so kick two rails and then the cue ball goes at the nine. Just like that, and almost made it. That was a really nice effort there, Truco. Oh, and nice little helping hand off the six. And does she have a shot or is she hooked? I think she has a shot. Oh. 
Hey, Jesse, thanks for tuning in. Um, John wants to know, did Sherry play? Sherry won her first match, lost her second match, and is currently playing her third match. And that's uh, in the upper right corner on screen. That's her playing. That's her at the table right now shooting, uh, playing the safety, I think. Got a hold of that one. A little more angle on the six than she wanted. She'd have to go back and forth and back and forth. Yeah, don't get too straight on this eight. You know, what you don't want to do is just brush that. Well, she didn't just brush the nine. So you don't want to just brush the nine and the end, nine ball ends up on the end rail with no shot at it. But All right, Taruko. Going to get another chance at this. Can't tell the exact angle she has on this eight. I don't know if she can shoot the eight in the corner, just roll forward for the nine in the other corner. Or if she's going to have to go to the side and come two rails around. All right, she's going to go to the side, two rails around. All right, is that ball going to get there? Is it going to get there? Eh, sort of. Oh, don't scratch. Corner hook. <laughs> wow. All right, kick it in. All right, that puts Taruko on the hill, 6-2 in this race to seven. And it's going to be Taruko's rack and break. All right, she did not hit those as good as she was hitting them earlier. There's Angela to the table. All right, good stroke on that one. May have overdid it just a hair. 
Or as I say, or this leaves a perfect angle to break that cluster open if she wants to cut the two to the corner, but nope, just gonna play safe. Through go looking at coming three rails behind the two. You know if you don't get a good hit, uh, Angela is going to waste no time shooting at that 2-9 combination. You know that, right, uh, Taruka? <laughs> pretty sure the 3 go the 9 goes by the th Pretty sure the 9 goes by the 3. If the nine has enough room to pass, she will waste no time setting this up and shooting at it. Well, and the nine must not go. Play another safety. All right, just got her hooked. All right, well, she's got her on two. And a good opportunity for a third one. She could uh, play safe behind this six ball. Yeah, she's looking at shooting the two and playing safe on the three, but you can, you can play safe on the two, you know, you can play safe on the two right now. Yeah, play safe, play safe behind the six. And that's what she's doing. All right, this one. From here, it looks like a pretty easy hit, but it is also possible to scratch in the corner after making the hit, so. Things can go wrong. All right, good hit, and she can get her safe. Nope. Uh, that's going to leave it pretty nice for Taruko. Looks like a good angle to go to the rail and then into the cluster. Uh, she's just going to play safe on the three. Uh, from this angle, it's a little bit more difficult to play safe from here. Yeah, try to get behind the seven. Yeah, to the rail and then behind the seven. No, she's playing the nine. Is she losing her patience a little? All right, another safety from Angela. And it looks like she's got her with the six. Um, chat room wants to know, are they playing three foul? Yes, absolutely. Three foul rule is in effect. All right, good hit.
All right, three to the four. Should, well, she's going to bank this. I would have thought she could. Not. I was seeing the angle wrong on table, on screen. On screen, it looked like she could cut the three in the side with some inside spin to hold it for the four, but. Well, she got on the five. I was wondering how she's going to get on the five, and that's how. Truco's struggling to put this set away. Angela says, that's okay. I don't mind. I'm okay with that. That six does pass the seven. So you could go she could go to either corner. Oh, that's a nice shot. Hey, not out of the woods. I think she can avoid this nine. Yeah, she could. All right. Can sue this ball in. Actually, I guess it's not that thin of a cut. Steered that ball in. All right. Angela taking advantage. Six to three in this race seven. And Angela looks like she's going to take her break. So we'll be right back. All right, players are back. Yeah. 
All right. I, uh, the word on the street is Sherry won her match. Coming through the uh, the B side, taking the, the scenic route to the finals. All right. Angie Mears with the break. Dry break, and looks like Taruko has a shot on the one. Oh, yeah, she's got a shot. Yeah, thanks, man. Uh, who would have thought, like, you know, a three, you know, having a 314 shaft, that's a 314 is old school now. <laughs> that's old fashioned. Yeah, I don't, I don't have a Revo shaft or a Qtex Synergy shaft, um, but I have, I have played with the Revo shaft a couple times, and uh, it's, it's nice. I like it. It's really nice. Oh, Taruko letting a stroke out there. All right, safe, and that's a good safe. Nicely done. Oh, I guess she had a little bit of a window through there. All right, ball in hand for Taruko. Terry Drake says he's waiting on the Peach Hour Rogue. Oh, is uh, Peach Hour making uh, making one of those shafts now too? Are they jumping on that bandwagon? Yeah, looks like she's gonna have to come down short side of the seven and just avoid that nine. Ooh, a little crisp. All right, looks like she may have to play safe here. Bank to a seven out of there, hide behind the eight. Looks like she's cutting at it. She <laughs> can't pull the trigger. <laughs> Looks like she's looking at just like thinning off the seven, like trying to like come behind the eight. Or is she trying to bank the seven cross side? I can't tell what she's doing. No, just playing safe by, okay. That was uh, what I suggested uh, a little while ago. Uh, yeah, just bank the seven out of there, hide behind the eight. She was just examining all her options. Wasn't going to rush into anything. All right, good hit. But no safety. All right, that's not looking good for Angela.
Come three rails around right at the nine. That looks pretty good. Taruko Kukulele defeating Angela Mears, 7 3. This was an A side match. Angela's still alive. I want to thank our sponsors at patreon.com. Thank you guys for your support. Go to patreon.com slash Relberts TV to become a sponsor of, of us on Patreon. Your support, greatly appreciated. Thank you guys for watching. We're going to have another match coming up soon. So we'll be back with more pool. Stick around.